Today, we are going to take an introductory tour of the Geeks Toy software. This will be primarily with a view to trading football. There are lots of videos for horse racing trading using the software, but not many for football. This powerful software can seem a bit daunting at first, but today we're going to break down the basics, get you set up and show you how to use its key features, especially the ladder interface for trading football markets. This video is aimed squarely at beginners, so don't worry if you've never used Geek's Toy before. We recently purchased a lifetime license for Geek's Toy for £120. This means there are no monthly subscriptions, which makes this a cheap option long term. Now for those of you who've seen my Betfair balance on previous videos, you'll be wondering why I've paid for software with such a small bank. The simple answer is my YouTube revenue has covered the costs. Every penny I've earned from this channel has been put back into making content better. I've always liked the look of Geek's Toy, and I think it represents the best value pound for pound. When the opportunity presented itself to purchase the license, I jumped at it. First things first, you'll need to download and install Geek's Toy from the official website and link it to your Betfair account. Geek's Toy offers a training mode. I can't stress this enough, start in training mode. It allows you to get familiar with everything without risking any real money. So when we're in the software, we get to see all of the markets typically for all sports. So what we need to do is we just need to switch this to look for football matches and its default is to set them to look for today. We can change that if need be. And then from within the football, we can select uh, a country where we're looking for a particular match. So if we look in France, and then you find the match, and then we've got all the markets down here, which are currently available on Betfair for this match. So for this particular tutorial, we'll open up the match odds market. So I've got it currently to open it as a grid um, when we go into a particular market. And this is similar to what you would see on the Betfair website. We've got the date and time of the event, uh, a countdown to how long it is till the event begins. If this was in play, that would be counting up to how long the game has been in play. And we've got the volume of money traded currently on this event. On this screen here we've got um, got the countdown there, uh, we've got the percentage of the book uh, on Betfair, we've got the default stakes in here and we've got some other options which we will look at um, in depth a little bit later on. And we've also got the Betfair graphs here and they, they're changing as we hover over different markets. So let's concentrate on getting Geeks Toys set up when trading football markets. So what we're going to do is switch to the ladder view and we do that by right clicking on the grid and just selecting show ladder and then we've got the ladder interface here so we've got the two teams and the draw which are the only three outcomes for this market and we've got it set so we've got the back prices on the right hand side and the lay prices on the left hand side and we can see the amount that's been traded for each of these prices and the current amounts that are waiting to be matched for all of the prices. Changing of these settings we just right click within the ladder and then we've got some different settings here so we've got the ladder layout here so we can say, see where the bet display is, we can show profit and loss in its own column or we can put it in the bet column so a lot of these options are going to pretty much be determined by the amount of screen space you've got. Some of them can have in their own column, which is what we've got mainly. But if you've got, say, a small screen, then you can double these up or you can even turn them off completely. So how we've got it set up is we've got a graph down here, which is um, the last two minutes worth of movements in the market. I say this one is a good time before the actual event starts, so it's fairly flat at the moment. We've got the Betfair graph down the bottom so we can see the full movement of the market. And we've got unmatched bets at the top here and matched bets at the bottom. So as this is a training account, we'll just place a couple of bets just so you can get the feel of it. So at the top, we've got the default stake. And then across here, we've got some preset stakes in in here so if you wanted say five pounds you just type five in there or it's really in the drop down and then you would just place a five pound bet there and you could lay it there as well so you can see how quick that is on the betfair website you would need to type all that in and click ok to confirm um, whereas we've got it set here it's just a single click in on both sides and to cancel that, you just click it again and it removes it for you. If you wanted that £5 put down here, then if you right click into one of these slots and press 5, and if you right click again, then that goes across all the selections now. Just click on 5 there and there you go. Just as simple as that. And if you wanted a different amount, say 150, and then we just put those in there just like that. And you can see, you can see the full depth of the market. To recenter this, to save scrolling all the way back down, if you just click on any of the odds, 
then it really centers the current price. So nice and simple. And it's easy to show at the moment because the market is not moving around. It can get a bit daunting when the prices are jumping all over the place and you're new to this software. So do take time. Certainly, as I said earlier, do use the training account and maybe get onto a market which is a good few hours out so you can practice playing around, putting money in and taking it out of the market again. What you might want to change when you first start using the software is the confirm bets option. So if we turn that on, as you saw before, we were just placing these and it was just going straight into the market. Now we're having to confirm that we want to do this which is great in case you make a mistake because obviously once it's in the market then it's committed um, you will want to turn this off eventually because it can get quite laborious and if you want to get in and out very quickly then this is going to slow you down so say so it's a right click on the main screen confirm bets turn that back off so we've touched on the state buttons at the top already the default is stake but if you click on the s then we've got all of these other options here if any other one i tend to use is liability so if you want to put a lay bet in and you only want 20 pounds liability shall we say put it down there then we can see the bet has gone in for 14 pounds 28 which at those odds the software is calculated will give us a 20 pound liability whereas on betfair you probably have to work that out yourself as to how much you'd put in for 20 pounds liability so if we're going to 228 then it's 15.62 and so on. So also on the ladder, we can see the weight of money and which direction it's going in. So we can see that 59% of the weight of money is on the lay side on reams. On the draw, it's 50-50. And on Mex, the weight of money is more on the back side, so 65% there. And that's predominantly these two amounts here, sat at 350 and 345. And what we'll see later as well is that when money starts coming into the market, then we will show the last minute's worth of trading, and this will be a darker bar. So we've switched now to a game that is in play. And this is a half time at the moment, this game, and it's 3 0 to the away team. So we can see their odds are down at 1.02 here. And we can see the graphs are now actually moving a lot more frequently than the one that didn't start till later. So we can see that it's been an hour and six minutes since this game kicked off. What we'll do is we'll just put a couple of five pound fake trades in. So we'll, we'll lay them at 103 because we'll get matched straight away here. So it's a 10 second delay on going into the market because the game's in play. And there we go. So we've got five pounds on and these are now the hedged amounts for each of the prices. So you see the pounds just gone into the market there and there was 2.7 on it. Uh, 1.03 we've just seen some more money going there at 102 so this is now a live market so we are still in training mode and we can see here that if the odds go down to that then that's then we'd be 15p down and we see at the top you know we're now at 33p profits should the odds get up to there and so on and so forth so what we can do now is because we've laid for five pounds at 1.03 we might want to stick some back bets in just up here so we, we drip those in five one pound stakes there we'll go into the market just like that so we don't one two three three four five all the way up to 122 so i wouldn't expect the odds to get up there unless the um home team get a couple of big goals so, um, that's kind of how you would place your bets via the geeks toy ladder and we can see here the 103 is at the bottom because that has been matched and these five one pound bets here are offered to the market but have not been taken what we can do here is uh, we can switch to any other market so if we wanted to get a correct score on this game we just right click at the top find the game if we go to correct score and here we go so we've got the correct score markets now for this game and there's the five columns that i've got set up in my settings so again if we went to two rows in there then we've now got the 10 here and if you wanted any other score on there if you click on the actual runner name and you can just change that so any other away win you've now brought that into here as well so very flexible and if you, did, if you didn't want nil nil because the score is now say three nil if you wanted three three in there you just change that and it just brings it in. So it is that simple just to move around. What you can also do is if you wanted correct score and the match odds on at the same time, you'd go back to the market navigator and just click on correct score. Market in play. We won't show the ladder on this. We've got the grids here. As well as using the ladder, if you wanted a back bet on 3 0, you just click into there and you've got your stake down here. So if you wanted that to be £20 and just press return on that, and that will now go into the market. And there we go. So we're now seeing we get £133 on 3 nil, or lose £20 on any other score. So to Dutch, we need to actually have the correct score panel in focus. And if we right click at the top, and if we go to show and hide and the multi bet tool, now we can see we've got all the scores here. So we'll Dutch nil 3, 1 3, and 2 3. We'll put on £50, for example. That is how much we would make if one of these scores came in. Obviously, we, we would lose £50 if any other scores came in. If we click bet, then we can put them on now, do it tomorrow. 
at a particular time. Obviously, the game's in play now. Um, we could do pre-off, which it won't let us do because the game has already started. And we could do post-off as well. And you can set, say, like five minutes before, two minutes after, and it will place the bets into the markets at the right time. So if we just click on bet on that, what it's telling us is there's not enough money here for all of these to be fully matched at this point. There we go. So that those are now into the market and the value at the top there is showing you the current cash out value. If we go into the ladder on here, then we're seeing the cash out values against each of the individual scores. So we've switched to another game that's in play here. Uh, the score in this one is 2-1 to the home team. So there's a little bit more action here. And so what we'll do is we'll back the home team and we'll try and get a good price on that. We'll try and get in at 240 on that. We'll, we'll bring it down to 234. See, let's see if we can get matched in there. And there we are, we're matched now. So uh, you can see the darker greens on here, which is where the money has been in the last minute. So those will start to fade out once uh, the, the minute's up and no more money's put into the market. So we can see the odds are a bit all over the place at the minute so it was just being a goal and if you wanted to cash out say here all we need to do is just click onto there and that will put the um, bet into the market to be able to cash that out so we can see we've partially matched there already and the green is is going up so we've got four pounds 12 still to take uh, slowly reducing and there we go so we've now fully matched so we've made 26p across all of these outcomes let's put our five pounds back in again see if we can get matched again what we're seeing here these blue lines are showing the odds movement so this really is all over the place whereas that one's a little bit more stable for the away team and the draws are all over the place as well. As we can see from the graph, it's up, down, up, down. So the market isn't really settled in at the moment on this game. And we're seeing a lot of gaps in the market. So there are opportunities there for us to potentially get some profit. So we matched again for our five pounds. So again, we'll drip in this time at the home team. So that's another two out now. So we've now got these three in the market and we've got a net loss of 273 at the minute. Currently we're at 35p, 32p profit now. And if we let this run to the end without these in, we'd make four and 6p but we'd be losing £2.73 on the other markets so there we've just had our final leg matched so now we are sitting on £1.04 and if they win or 26p if there's any other outcome but let's just green that up let's just click in there and the 41p that we need to green up hopefully will get taken very soon and there we go so it's now 65p across the board what I like about using software like this is because I've got such a small bank then sometimes in order to leg out I'm having to put uh, five ten pound stakes in and then legging out at one two pound stakes what we can do here is i say we, we can just stick a pound in as our mainstay and now what we can do quite easily is we could leg out at five lots of 20p which obviously you can't do on the betfair site easily but in the software it's not a problem so there we go we've got 20p in there now so you can actually play around and experiment with particular strategies um, on the live environment so you've got the training one here but it's never the same as using live and actually use real micro stakes or you can even go down to 10p's which i've got set up here even though the outlay m might seem expensive to start with you can do a lot more with it than you can on the betfair website and i do believe it does make you a, a better trader by being able to use these small stakes and get the confidence in what you are doing something else we, we can look at is is the uh, the market overview so again from the the main screen if you get right click and go to show hide and the market overview will show all the odds here so we can see where the movement is so we can see the draws come in slightly the home team are dropping slightly the away team are up and down and we can take certain ones of these out so if we don't want the home team in there we just get the other two and likewise, we take the draw out, take the away team out. We can just see kind of where the odds are going at a glance. We've got the graphs here. We've got the Betfair graphs. And we've got the weight of money on here. But this is just another way of actually viewing where the market is moving. So the final thing we're going to show you is the staking and tools section. So we've pulled up a game here, um, which is currently in play. And what we're going to do is put a tick off set in here. And we'll set that to 10. So... What this means is when we place a bet into the market, we'll just put it here because there's money to be matched there. Then what the software will then do is that will then place a the opposite trade 10 ticks ahead, uh, which you can see there. So we, we put two pounds in at 1.6 and the software is automatically put in two pounds at 1.7. That's a quick way if you're just trading a number of ticks in your strategy you haven't got to manually count the number of ticks up and place the corresponding bet uh, geeks toy will do that for you and um, also we can put a stop loss in here so what we can do is we'll put that at six and the stop at plus is i think if it doesn't get fully matched at that then it will drop down that, that many ticks before cancelling the bet out so we'll put that at 10 
So now if we place another bet here at, at 165, then we can see here we've got our stop loss six ticks further down and we've got the trailing tick there. So what that means is as the um, the market rises, the stop loss should go with it. Uh, the final one is the fill or kill. So this is the number of seconds that the bet stays in the market. And if it's not matched after that time, then it gets killed. So if we just put it down there at 157 and then in 15 seconds, then that would just get cancelled if it's not matched, which it shouldn't be. And there you go, it's, it's cancelled it from the market. What we'll do is we'll leave this running and we'll come back once our bets are matched. So we can see our first bet has been matched there. And also the stop loss on the second bet, so you can see it's now higher. It's now at 162. So that's moving up in line with the um, the market movement up as well. In this instance, the worst case scenario should be that we, we make 8p. And there we are. So we're now fully out of the market. Uh, for a small profit there but you can see the control we put into that by using these uh, offsets initially to place the bets and they invert 10 ticks ahead and also using the stop loss to make sure that uh, if the market went against us we were controlling our losses and also the fill and kill which uh, placed a bet in the market but cancelled it if it wasn't matched in a set period of time. So that is just a quick tour of Geek's Toy and how I'm using it for, for trading football. Um, the key takeaways I think from this video are always start in training mode. Um, this will allow you to set up your environment and also practice placing trades when real money's not at stake. Um, I've already made a mistake on mine. Um, I left an unmatched bet in because I thought I'd closed it all off and ended up five pounds down because of it. Totally my fault and I won't be doing that again in a hurry. Also master the ladder, get this set correctly, understand what the information is telling you understand um, the trading volume the profit and loss how to hedge out also as well the one click betting it's valuable it will get you in and out of the market a lot quicker than people just using the betfair website it can be risky i mean if you've got the wrong thing set up there i mean really you should get rid of all these high numbers but say so learn how to hedge green up that is fundamental to making money out of uh, betfair so you certainly need to know that and also watch the charts every chart tells a story basically this is the two minute movement movement got down here you can change this to to be anything that you want and, and how quickly it changes so we've got it set as two minutes at the minute updating every second um, you might you could have it anything up to 15 minutes in there this is now the 15 minute chart updating every second uh, it's entirely up to you as to what you want um, I keep it at two minutes just so you can see the, the recent movement but there's no right or wrong setting for this it's just what works for you Geeks Toy is an incredibly deep piece of software we've only scratched the surface in this video the best way to learn is to get in there in training mode click around Watch how the markets move during live football games and practice placing bets and hedging them. There are many great resources online, including the Geeks Toy forums and other YouTube channels, going to more advanced strategies, but hopefully this gives you a solid foundation to get started. If you want to try Geeks Toy, there's an affiliation link in the description of this video and also in the link section of my YouTube channel. Although this currently doesn't get you any further discounts, uh, it does actually help our channel, uh, which means that we can then invest in other software and equipment to improve our production even more i'd appreciate if you did use this link if you are interested in purchasing the software if you found this video helpful please give us a like and consider subscribing for more content thank you for watching